Swaz the lie you pigeons. How the hell are ya? Say, do you enjoy killing more frame scum but in a sexually questionable way? Cool. Then I've got just the thing for you. The Hema. A blood sucking, tentacle boasting, naughty looking, infested style burst fire rifle. You can fetch this monster's blueprint from your clan dojo spy laboratory. Provided your clan does not consist of a bunch of lazy basement dwellers. If your clan has a few weebos or hentai enthusiasts, then you probably already have this gun. The Hema is notorious for being the most expensive asshole to farm for in-game but let me tell you right now, it is absolutely worth it. Hell, I would almost say just buy the sunbish and be done with it. Anyway this pervy little shit has a mediocre crit chance but decent crit damage. The status chance is where it really shines at 25% and the main damage type is viral. Which is a sexy ass base damage type since it will have enemy health upon proc. But I explained that in detail in my how to damage series so for now I will refrain. So what makes this thing special? First off, it uses your filthy blood for ammo. Yes. You heard correctly. Upon reload the Hema is jabbed into your arm where the pervy tendrils suck the blood from your warframe. This will cost you a little bit of health but it's not really a big deal. Furthermore, headshots will restore health back to you. Every time you successfully land a headshot, the Hema will make a creepy whistle sound. Ten percent of dealt damage is what you get back as health. So there is that mechanic. Now let's talk about damage. Here is my general build. Yes, I have a ribbon. Sue me. But the Hema will do fine without it. Now here is the thing. Viral does shit for damage. But the proc does reduce enemies life by half. Just like that. Which means this is a great combo for slash. Since the Hema does not have slash at all. I have to use Hunter Munitions which will force slash damage anyway. Now to make that more frequent, I up the critical chance with Argon Scope. <laughs> which is perfect since you will want to focus on headshotting the shit out of everything to steal HP back as often as possible. And finally Corrosive to help strip enemy armor and make them about as touch as a wet tissue paper. As an alternative, perhaps for newer players, you can try this build out. The damage is roughly the same but the heat proc will help keep your bitch ass alive since burning enemies do not attack you. And for anti-corpus, you may like this one. All of these builds work insanely well and will kill everything without effort. Naturally you can tweak all of my builds to your personal liking. Side note, this works pretty nice with mags magnetized because every bullet will count as a headshot for some reason. You're welcome. On a side note. I guess I might as well tell you how to farm the mutagen samples required to research this thing at your dojo. The only place where this shit drops effectively is in derelict survival missions. Nowhere else in the game will you find a better drop rate. Sounds good right? Well wrong because guess what? Despite having the highest drop chance of mutagen samples by far, the drops are still total bullshit. I highly recommend going here with a full farming squad and boosters active. But honestly even then you will farm for hours. Thanks DE. Okay it's time for my almighty Cephalon verdict. I, Cephalon Jizo, deem this Warframe item. Yes! Yes! Now have fun farming mutagen samples for the next 1000 hours. Don't forget to subscribe to this shitty channel though. And fuck off.